lat row with dumbbells on an incline bench. There are two other back exercises that use the same setup but differ in their execution and target other muscles. Compare the footage on the left and the right to get a visual representation of the differences so you don't accidentally bias a different muscle than the target one. Now let's talk about the setup. For optimal execution, your torso should be close to horizontal, almost parallel to the floor. If the bench is flat or the incline minimal, the weights will hit the floor before you can completely extend your arms down. If the incline is too steep, close to vertical, you'll turn the exercise into a shrug. An incline of about 30 degrees works well for most people, but based on your proportions, you may have to set the bench at a different angle. Note that you only need to support your chest. Sometimes your belly and hips can be up in the air. So if you have to use a higher incline to avoid hitting the floor, you can still maintain a relatively horizontal position. Use a neutral grip about shoulder width. Pull your arms up, but don't bicep curl the weights. Forearms continue to point down. Keep the elbows tucked close to the body. Upper arms sliding on the sides of the back. Feel the lats engage. These are the muscles on the sides of the torso just below the armpit. The movement ends when your upper arms line up with your torso. Do not go any further than this. Don't let the elbows go behind the body. Reverse direction, but control the lowering portion. Resist the pull of gravity. 